Let's get on to grand finals, ladies and gentlemen here. It's gonna be Pelu Pelu coming out from the loser's side versus Time Gear, the Min Min Min. Guys, enough talk. Let's put the money where the mouth is and let's get on to grand finals. Byleth versus Min Min, Pelu Pelu versus Time Gear. Yeah, let's see. Let's see how Byleth uses their tools in uh, this matchup. Also, shout out to the mid by the way. Thank you for so much for playing the clips. They're very great. Download them on the iOS store. Okay, so yeah, already off the bat, it's kind of hard because Menu has like more range than Byleth, and Byleth is really slow on the ground, so getting in on Midman is not very easy. Yeah, uh, uh, but also shout out to the Low Fire Mike for getting in on the tier one sub, man. Thank you so much for joining us here. Of course, time gear 73%, Hello Pedal Wall 2, using that arm strides. You've talked about it, man, that pressure on the shield. Mighty strong, you gotta respect it here. Time gear a little bit on the dash dancing, trying to fake something out, Ooh. and there is the succeed, and that one here gets the mega watt forward tilt or forward smash. Sometimes it's hard Mint. to tell, man. Mint less trapping insane. Yeah. Covers Bushu grip and roll almost every time. And from so far away on the stage too. So it's like almost not middle in a way. All right, double arms here. Great angle. Look at that covering the getup also from the air, but also the ground as well. You can tell Time Gear is playing this as, as well as possible, trying to cover all the bases. I mean, when we saw when we saw Byleth, we knew Byleth as the original distance demon, but man, uh, Min Min has taken that title, and you know they're fighting for it, but wow, the power dragon laser, Ooh. and then the ram ram Jeez. off the stage. This man is not afraid to go off the deep game. Deep Min Min edge guard, man. You don't even see that that often where they just go, jump off stage and hit like that but it was perfect from time gear yeah i am here to talk about the match man but thank you everybody who has tuned in tonight all the subs if you guys are watching this vod man check us out live twitch.tv forward slash 2g gaming don't forget our partner about our partner metaview putting out some great clips you guys already know where to get an ios store definitely out there providing some great content for you guys no more of that youtube in the way, especially when you guys get those big batch uploads. I know how it feels. Wow, what a, what a Jesus. That was, that was crazy. Like, I'd yeah. never seen someone go on stage and kill with that before. But it was like the, probably the optimal thing to do to catch me Min. Yeah. Despite that though, Time Gear still has a lot of uh, advantage right now. Oh. Yeah, he's trying to see if he can catch the end. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus, I thought. Dude, I thought. I thought Pelu was the sharpshooter, man. It doesn't nah, matter. This guy... I'm, I'm wrong. Time gear. Time gear. Time gear. Time gear. Jesus, man. This man is. <laughs> I'm, I, I, I'm laughing because I, that was incredible. That was a snipe, but Jesus. That. The power dragon laser just definitely took it. So strong, man. That wasn't even the uh, powerful one either. Like, that yeah, wasn't even wasn't, the buff that he gets from like, getting grabs or whatever. Or the charge. It's... Ah, oh, man. That's the crazy thing here, too. We see how that works on characters like Mega Man. But even on characters like Bob, anybody who has a hard time recovering like on the sides, they're going to be susceptible to getting hit by the lasers. And even then, Time Gear is so strong at being able to use Power Dragon Laser when you're at certain angles, because we saw that happen to you. You were definitely in the chat saying, Time Gear probably wins 3-1. I kind of want to see Pelu Pelu at least bring it a game five, man. We've been seeing this by lift. These are two very strong social distance characters. Uh, no pun intended, given our situation still currently happening here at the time of quarantine. But man, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm with you, man. I kind of want Pelu Pelu to win. I, I, I'm liking Time Gear. I'm not going to lie. I'm liking Time Gear. I'm liking Time Gear for sure. But I want to see a game five. Pelu Pelu taking some time to think about some things that happened last game as we go into game two. Yeah, Pelu did a really good reverse, you know, uh, just versus you. So I don't want to just immediately count him out just because he lost the first game. He's already shown that he can adapt to the yard. Wait, actually, I don't think it was reverse for you, but he lost the first game and then the very next game, he like almost like two stock, three stock. So 
kind of surprised to see him go back to the same stage though. Yes, yeah. but... I I, I kind of want like a, a different stage just to see how things go. We know how Town and City played out between you and Time Gear. Maybe we might be seeing Battlefield as a possibility, but you know how Mimin can cover smaller stages with these arms. We'll see Pelu Pelu making some adaptations, hopefully. I mean, double arms there on Pelu stopping the aggression. It's going to be rough here. And the down tilt to up smash is hach. It's a lot of pain. Well, I feel is pain at this moment for Pelu Pelu, but we'll see. Catch the roll again with that Megawatt. Time Gear is like so ready to catch that almost every time. Gotta be ready to uh, avoid that habit, really, for Snipman. Okay. Yeah, try and... oh. oh damn, pop the neutral get up again. That megawatt's always there. So strong. Nice. That down tilt just being able to cross up so well just helps Minmin so much. Going really deep, but works out for Pelu. Really want to see if he can catch that side B off stage, but he sent him so far that it was hard for him to recover safely. All right, Pelu Pelu looking for a way to come around here. Two stocks each, man. Pelu Pelu on 55. You know Pelu Pelu can get that burst damage with those tech chases on the Nair, but ugh, missing that up tilt pretty crucial, and that gives Time Gear the ability to go for that down tilt. Double arms here, especially with the Ram Ram. Great spot dodge, and gets the up tilt up air, but no, sort of the creator here. You know Pelu Pelu's looking for that one, knowing how Time Gear has kind of been jumping a little bit. Yep. Nice. Gets the Nair tech chase. Trying to see if he can snag that offstage Nair. He hasn't got it just yet, but oh my goodness, almost dying from full screen. Yeah, you know, that's the thing about Min Min too. Her grab's got some startup. Even though it's got the distance, the distance on the startup is something to be feared about, especially if you're getting hit by Fail Not. Time gear 107. You know, Pelu Pelu can get the. Oh my god. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Take the stock, Pelu. Take the stock. You break the shield, you deserve the stock take. Don't drop that. Finally gonna see that shield break come into play from Pelu. Ooh. Wow, I really like that down tilt to up He didn't get anything off of it, but it was like a really good trap. Yeah. Nice, catching that roll in with the fade back to lot there. Oh, barely gets through that. Punish from Pelu. Yeah. Yep, jumped over both of the arms. I like it. I'm Boy, liking oh. this now. Mm, watch the ledge. Watch the ledge. Yeah, good, good play. And what a punish there on the oh lining. You've been seeing Time Gear going for those aerial arms there, and you can punish that. Fake out there on the empty hop here. This gives Time Gear the down tilt and looking for the read on the on the stage. Pelu, Pelu has to watch himself forward. So, oh yep. no. Yeah, what an excellent tech chase. Pelu Pelu going back to his guns, man. Sticking to those near tech chase scenario, and he demonstrates how to do it in time pelu pelu one one apiece like i said man i want to see game fives i'm liking both these characters man but no one wants to see a wash you only watch you only want to see the game fives happen it's always nice to see a competitive uh, match especially for grand finals yeah um that's what that, that's what you want man competitive matches sometimes you want to see a wash but in this case man tonight with all the players we've been seeing you want game five for sure this has been quite the show on a monday night quite the show indeed my friend oh I my think. god what an appearance what an <laughs> appearance what up man ladies yeah, and gentlemen this. please People welcome back what is going on it is good to be here with world-class commentators especially yourselves it's been a good night man good night and some good plays all around yeah, everyone's been playing amazing, uh, especially with like characters you don't see all the time. But um, yeah, I don't know. This is really interesting matchup to see here. Pelu's just really starting to use his jump in an interesting way, especially to deal with the grounded arms. Like he'll just wait yeah. for the double arm swing and then see if he can get like a falling nair tech chase. He got a few of those that led to a lot of good punishes. Also, just the struggle of Mimin to land against Violet is also really rough. But setting up that situation is what really gets Pelu uh, beat up a lot in neutral. Yeah, no, absolutely. 
it's really interesting. It's like Violet has to play like a rush down character in this matchup, which should never be the case. <laughs> yeah, you can't you can't give that character space, right? Because you need to be in a mid range where you can still kind of actively punish or at least get some pressure on the jumps, right? Because if you can't get anything on the jumps, then they can really be safe with the, like, plus three on those tilts, man, all day, every day, right? And just go into jumps. Crazy. Yeah, I really like the use of the down tilt and dash attack as well. Just like a pretty, like, unexpected burst option that, um, Time good throws out every once in a while, and if especially if the down tilt connects, that's like an easy up smash or a juggle situation. Oh my god, dude, it's so much shield pressure. It's like you yep. forced to like drop shield on that. Exactly. Okay, dash attack. Oh my god, what an up smash out of shield. I'm amazed he's alive, especially because he already was in the air when he got hit by that, but. There's a megawatt in there, covering the jump. Yeah, no, really having a rough time already. No tipper on the back air. Again, he's just going to try to time his jump to get over the arm and see if he can get a whip punch from there. Barely missing it though. See, I would love to see Pelu in that situation. Just get the down smash to cover the roll. Like, it, I think it would really help him out. First min min. Nice. Well, love that nair. Oh, he didn't get the hit he wanted though. Yeah. That's one thing Violet really has in this matchup. Like, a lot of characters, like, you can... Like, Violet already has a better, like, tether. So, like, Violet can kind of go out there and not be too afraid. In terms of the ranges in which, uh, Min can actually go and tether herself. But, man, it's so... It's such a good thing where you can run off in there and just instantly snipe a lot of these characters with yep. their tether. Yeah, you just catch the real in animation from there, very good. Yep. Fortunately, he just didn't get the right hitbox, but oh my god, the tipper side B. Move is so good now. <laughs> so good. It's like the it's like the burst option Violet needed, and now it's just safe. <laughs> yep. And I think that's what yeah. Violet would like it's a really uh fair buff for Violet to get, like safer moves for the use. Right. Oh, I agree. I agree. I mean, like, I, I think, it, and I love that they, like, recognize this too, right? Because you look at it in the past when you saw the character, oh, my. Like, oh, this is Demon, but, you know, all the other characters can do it just the same now. So I, I love that they actually recognize that and made that move, uh, you know, balance accordingly. That was such a good recovery. <laughs> Time That's, like, why I like the Ram Ram 4 off stage. Like, that angle is just, like, so good at hitting people that try to jump off preemptively. Oh man, he went for it all. That would have been such a good upbeat. <laughs> but, empty hop into the up smash, gets right into space. Nope, not gonna get the grab. Oh, big combo. Doesn't get the forward air though, unfortunately. Would have been so much percent. And dropping a tech chase in there. Oh, watch the laser. And the roll gets covered by the Megawatt, barely living, but he's in such a terrible position on stage. And Min Min loves holding the ledge down like this. Such good spacing, no up smash out of shield. Oh, no, he's trying to find a way in, but Min Min is locking him down. Oh, not a safe side beat, but no punish. Here. Oh, oh yeah, no can do. Man, Not against that. Min Min. Nope. It's so crazy though because that the distance that she does that, it still covers roll. <laughs> yeah, it's really, really good. A lot of times the way you have to get around that kind of setup is you have to wait for them to throw out the first arm and then time your regular get up when the second arm is coming out. So then you're in a good place. Yep. But like roll's not gonna work. If you jump, they can kind of try to react and try to pressure you there with the second arm. And it's not really gonna be effective. And if you especially try to do some mix up at the ledge jump, then they're just gonna duff you for free. So you have to be really patient in that kind of scenario. But regular get up is usually your best friend in that. Unless you have something to actually hit the second uh, initial arm and then be able to block in time, which not many yeah. characters do. I haven't, I don't be real with you, everyone I've seen play time here tonight has not been able to get off the ledge. 
They've just been getting hit by everything. Yeah, yeah you have to be patient, and roll is not going to help. <laughs> like, yeah. it, roll is not going to help. Yeah, I really like time to use mid mid. Like, this is exactly how I expected people to play mid mid when I saw the character. Like, this isn't a stationary character at all. It actually has really good movement. Like, that ability to just, like, uh, go forward, jump, all while using your normals like that, like, so good. But, that ledge jump is covered. Hella's seen that option a little bit too many times. Oh, nice. Pressure? Oh, man, he's going for another one? Oh, gee, the hitboxes are flying. I was trying to get some disgusting research from Milo right now, but there's the Megawatt, still barely living though. Okay. Get off the ledge. Yep. Waits for both of the arms this time, but the roll still gets covered regardless. For the Narragan. Oh, but times his recovery very well to avoid that. Gotta watch out, got the powered up laser. Wow, time gear. Time gear, that was actually worth it, I think. That was actually so smart to nail like that. He's like, hey, you can do this. I'll say it to me, well, I'll do it to you. Tipper, but oh my god, barely missed past the side beat. Yeah. Oh. Pressure on the ledge. Nice, catches the back throw back off the stage. One good hit though. You can just. Uh oh, you got the buffed arm too! You didn't use a laser yet. Oh, there it is. But Megawatt's in play as well. A lot of scary things can happen for uh, Propeller right now. Okay. Gets the snipe. Just where he needs to get some stage control back, but he needs to get this kill really soon. Rage Min Min has a lot of tools that can kill right here. Oh! Black has the jump. Almost gets the laser snipe too, but how's he gonna get back on the stage? Jumps through that setup. Oh man. I'm thinking the up smash is coming for Pelu. If he can find that open. But Mega One Nair is just what he needs, man. Oh my goodness. Time here with the 3 0. Oh, yeah, it's so safe, and like the way he's using it, like he's. He gets like these really good like fake